Dante! Jason Morgan, come out, come out, wherever you are. What are you doing here? Well, I can, uh, ask you the same question, but I already know the answer. You know, thanks a lot for making it easy for me to get in here. You know, I just, uh, saw you picking the lock and caught the door, got the elevator up. I'm really grateful I'm not even going to turn you in for breaking and entering. As to why you're here, I can think of one good reason. And if Detective Falconeri turns up missing, you'll be my chief suspect. You know where Detective Falconeri might be? No, I'm, I'm here same as you. Yeah, I see that. The question is why. You know, I'm really good at problem solving and... I'm just going to try to piece this together the best I can. The last time I saw Dante, he was on his way to serve Michael a long overdue subpoena. He didn't tell me where he was going, but I'm willing to bet it was one of Sonny's Caribbean casino resorts. Problem is, is that Dante should have been back by now. So I'm wondering if maybe he got waylaid before he even got to Michael, which would put him about halfway to the Pine Barrens by now. Except... Dante might be a cop, but he's also Sonny's kid, giving him special consideration. You can't touch a hair on Dante's head, can you, Mr. Morgan? How frustrating is your life? Are you done? You know, my mind is just reeling with all sorts of questions. Where is Detective Falconeri? Did he, in fact, find Michael? And if so, why haven't they surfaced? What's going on? Is he protecting his brother? Or is he keeping a federal witness secure? I am fascinated to see how this is going to play out. Will it mean more for Dante to be a cop or Sonny's firstborn son? You want to spare me the denials? All right, we got a major problem. What, what's the nature? Bellhop saw Michael leaving the hotel last night with a man fitting Dante's description. That is most distressing. Yeah, and it gets worse. I was just at Dante's apartment. Dante's not there, Michael's not there, but Claire Walsh was, and she was looking for Dante. Well, which indicates that Dante has yet to turn Michael over to the authorities. Do you think Michael confessed to Dante? It, it's been, it doesn't matter whether he did or whether he didn't. We need to get him away from Dante and out of the country an hour ago. So please just get to work and see if you can find a lead on where Michael might be. Long. The area where Dante resides is primarily industrial. There's no banks or office or office cameras for me to gain surveillance footage. I, the closest I can get is a block and well, a half. There's got to be something, Spinelli. Please keep working on it. Hey. Okay, please, Maxie. This is not a time for Spinelli to be distracted. What are you doing? We're, lo we're looking for Michael. Yeah, I, we think he's with Dante. Oh, um, maybe I could help. Look, we both know Maxie. Maxie. Sorry. Please. I'm sorry. I know this is kind of a radical idea, but if Michael really wants to tell the truth, why not just let him? That's what I should have done the night Claudia died. You know, I should just let Michael tell the truth, but instead I made a wrong decision. I acted too quickly. I engineered a cover-up to destroy everything that proves that Michael acted in defense of Carly and Jocelyn. That's why Sonny's on trial. That's why Carly and Jack's marriage is falling apart. That's why they ripped Morgan out of school, put him on the stand to testify against his father. None of this should have happened, and it, it wouldn't have if I would have just... Jason, there's... Damn it! What? Well, I, I can't find anything. No son of Dante or Michael. And that's it. I'm just gonna have to tell Sonny that Michael's in town. We just don't know where. I get that this is hard for you. Okay, I, uh, I'm sorry that I took so long. Dante, to you got Michael. You, you already know? Yeah, he came here. Who, who came here, Dante? Dante, he came straight here after Michael confessed. So Dante knows Michael killed Claude. Not only that, he has proof. How does he have proof? Michael kept the bloody shirt he wore that night for whatever reason. Dante had the blood checked. It's Claudia's. 
All right, where, where's Michael right now? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? In other words, you can be at, at PCPD da confessing? Dante's not gonna let her get that far. He, it, he's after me. He's not gonna do anything that affects his brother. I think I got through to him, convinced Dante that Michael killed Claudia by accident, but there's no way to prove it. The only way to rectify the situation is to let me take the we fall. We cannot trust Dante. Maybe if it were just about me. But we're talking about his brother's life at stake. Yeah, all he wants to do is make his case. That's not true. I shot him. I'm sure he wanted more than anything to turn me in, but he didn't. Which means he's capable of bending the law. He'll do it now. I just think you're fooling yourself, Sonny. This... More than anything, Dante wants me in prison. If, if it's revealed that Michael is Claudia's real killer, the whole case goes out the window. And I'm back on the street doing what I do. But then again, if I accepted what you said, that he doesn't care about protecting Michael, he does care about stopping me. He won't give Michael up. He's going to let this play out all the way to my conviction. 